Selection of a graft, the type of graft, is one of the most important decisions in ACL reconstruction surgery. It's important for the patient to understand all the options and pick the graft that's best for him or for her, but it's also important for the surgeon to fully explain the risks and benefits of all the different graft options so that you can make the, op the you know, decision that's best for you. I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide education and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people probably much like yourself so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. In today's Ask Dr. Geyer video, I want to discuss how you can pick the graft option for ACL surgery that's best for you. Okay, Peggy asks, I'm 51 years old. I play indoor volleyball in the winter and softball in the spring and summer. I did have ACL surgery in my right knee in 1999 using a patella tendon graft from my knee. I did very well. It was a lot of hard work, but I returned to volleyball in six months. Now at 51, I tore my ACL and my meniscus in my left knee. The doctor suggested a donor graft. What are your thoughts on this? I'm very active for my age. Well, that's a great question that Peggy asked. And let me start by talking about the general thoughts with graft choice, graft selection in ACL surgery. Autografts are grafts where we take tissue from your knee, either the middle part of your patella tendon, the tendon just below the kneecap, it could be one or two of your hamstring tendons, it could be part of the quadriceps tendon above your knee. The thought with an autograft is that basically you're harvesting tissue from your knee, so there is some pain at the, the harvest site, uh, which a lot of people with patella tendon grafts complain about pain in the front of the knee, and there's weakness with that because you're taking tissue from your knee. It's sort of a Rob Peter to pay Paul uh, type of scenario. But having said that, you can regain uh, that strength and overcome that pain working really hard in physical therapy after surgery. But the upside of using your own tissue is that we think that when that graft has fully incorporated into the knee, you know, five, six months, that graft is as strong, if not stronger, than your untorn ACL. So it's a really good option for highly competitive athletes, professional athletes, college athletes, high school athletes, adults that are very active. Allografts are tissue from a donor, or somebody that donates their organs when they pass away. And there's a variety of different options for allografts in terms of what tissue. There's hamstring uh, allografts, there's um, tibialis anterior and posterior tendons, there's patella tendons, there's Achilles tendon uh, that all can be used as allografts. Now, the upside of doing that and why a lot of people like it, a lot of patients like it, is that you're not harvesting tissue from your knee so it's less painful early on. You know, the doctors a lot of times like it, uh, especially in revision settings where you've already used tissue from your knee, it can be a good option. But some doctors use allografts because the surgery, in theory, is quicker and again, less donor site morbidity. Now, I, in my experience, and this is completely anecdotal here in the United States at least, sports medicine trained orthopedic surgeons, not general orthopedic surgeons, but ones that did an extra fellowship in, in orthopedic sports medicine, very frequently in my experience, really try to use autographs as a first line of uh, ACL surgery. But you do see it done a lot. And in the people where you select allografts as the choice for primary surgery, that's very often older people, people over 40. And the thought is they're not highly competitive athletes. They're not going back to play professional football or professional soccer. So maybe it's okay if that graft isn't quite as strong as the normal ACL. It does enough to stabilize the knee and let them get back to running and, and varieties of activities. We don't typically do it in you know, high school and college age kids because a number of studies have shown significantly higher failure rates for allografts in young athletes. Some studies I've seen as high as six times the failure rate. So it's really hard, at least for a primary ACL, meaning it's the first ACL surgery that athletes had. We very frequently use autografts and not allografts to try to bring down the risk that the graft fails and they need a second surgery. Probably less of a risk in your people in your 40s and 50s. I will tell you though, that I think that people in their 40s and 50s can still do well with autographs. I personally still use, usually patella tendon is the one that I like, 
in people in their 40s and early 50s and they do great. Again, you have to work through some of the discomfort and work through the strength, but you're in physical therapy anyway, and maybe I'm lucky, I have highly motivated, highly driven patients, they work really hard in physical therapy, and they do great with autographs. Having said that, I think allografts can be an acceptable option. All of this is important to think about, all of it's important to talk with your orthopedic surgeon before the surgery and make the decision that's best for you. Okay, have you had an ACL surgery and what graft did you choose and how did it go for you? How did you come to that decision? Or are you about to undergo ACL surgery and you're trying to decide what graft to use for you? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So below this video, leave your comments, share your experiences. I'd love to hear it. And I know readers all over the world would love to read what you have to say as well. And if you know somebody that has an ACL tear and is contemplating surgery, wants to decide what graft option is best for him or her, I'd really appreciate it if you'd share this video with him or her and hopefully it can help you know that person make the decision that's best uh, for him or her. I think it's really helpful. I, I really want to help any way I can, so share this video. Now, if you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. I record a couple of these videos every single week and I'd love to deliver those directly to you. And last, there's so many resources that I create on ways to stay healthy and perform your best, whatever your sport or whatever your exercise, and I share it with people who have subscribed to my email list. So go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, enter your name and your email right at the very top of the page, and I'll deliver those directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts on your ACL surgeries and what graft options you chose. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you right here in our next Ask Dr. Geyer video.